Welcome to the demonstration of making a carrot clarinet. So first of all, nice big carrot. Um, the overall length is going to be 187 millimeters. So I'm just going to cut that to length. I've actually already pre-marked um, just to speed this up, uh, 187, and I've pre-marked the holes. I have a little ruler that I've made up. Um, but in terms of the measurements of the finger holes, here we are. So the overall length is 187 millimetres. The thumb hole is 22 millimetres. The first hole, finger hole is 39. Second finger hole, 54. Third finger hole, 74. Fourth finger hole, 97. Fifth finger hole, 123. And sixth finger hole, 140 millimetres. As I said, I've already marked those finger holes, but first we've got to do a 12 millimeter hole down the center. So here we go. Okay. So we've got a 12 millimeter um, center uh, hole right down the center of the carrot. I'm now going to change the drill bit from a 12 millimeter. To a seven millimeter drill bit. As I said, I've already pre-marked the holes, those measurements that I mentioned. So now just drilling the six finger hole with a seven millimeter drill bit. Okay, just to finish that off using a vegetable peeler, just to clean up down the, that, the front of the finger holes there, and the thumb hole. And now we're going to put on an alto saxophone mouthpiece. Um, you can use a clarinet mouthpiece. I just prefer the sound of an alto sax mouthpiece on these. It's still a clarinet because it's a cylindrical bore, not a conical bore. So even though you're using a sax mouthpiece, it's still in principle a clarinet. I join the alto sax mouthpiece to the carrot just using a small um, 12 millimeter tube. Um, in this case, um, I'm in Australia, you can get these um, hose joiners, which are quite convenient for that, with just the barbs on the end taken off. So that um, tube is fitted into the alto sax mouthpiece, which then fits into the carrot. Now the full length of the carrot should be 187. I've made this a little bit shorter because I like the look of having a funnel on the end like that. So I've made it a little bit shorter so that when I add the funnel, that's now going to bring it in tune. So the, the, the notes on this instrument, um, the bottom note is C, middle C. So the six finger note is C. Um, so it's actually playing um, in a way like a, a B flat um, sax with, um, in terms of the notes. So your D fingering will give you a C note. G there, the, well the A fingering, it's a little bit flat so I'm just going to open it out just a fraction. That's better.